a good morning sports fans hey we're doing a little only because we have a limited amount of time it's supposed to start raining about one o'clock in fact it's sprinkling now i'm not even sure this is gonna work out but we're going to do an interim stop at a auto zone to pick up some what i think is the best it's my favorite uh wax to detail this car and it's uh, it's called uh, Ice by Turtle Wax. I, I've been using it all this car show season. I love it. It's not ceramic. Everyone's on the ceramic kick. I'm not on it. Uh, um, but anyway, we're doing a little kind of just a mini segment if we can pull it off uh, called uh, Cruising in Oklahoma, but to Stockyard City, which is the uh, national stockyards down and just off of downtown Oklahoma City. Uh, and so we're going to do shoot some clips. Hopefully we can get down there. There's a couple of photo ops where we can shoot the Z um, near the at, at the entrance of the stockyards and then uh, at the Cattleman's Restaurant. I'd like to get a picture of the Z in front of there. And so yeah, it's early. Uh, you already see plenty of ants crawling around. So there, this town, has, this city has a few million people. It's really built for about a few hundred thousand at the most. Uh, it's like every major metropolitan area in the United States, probably the world, is super overpopulated. And we go out early when we're going to do anything in the sea because I don't like, I, I don't trust the, I'm just going to call them idiots. I just said it. They're, they're just people that are just driving completely rude, careless, reckless, out of control, and everyone's in a hurry. It doesn't matter if it's Saturday morning. And, seven in the morning they've got to go somewhere and it's a super important um basically every single person that drives that way that's rude discourteous uh and reckless they're all brain surgeons i, I know you probably didn't know that but yeah so you know they're on the way to practice uh, an immediate emergency brain operation and so i i get why they're all in a hurry so i just never realized there were that many brain surgeons but evidently there is so we're heading out um, right before light for that reason, primarily, secondarily, uh, because they're predicting rain uh, this afternoon. It's a uh, cold front has moved in and all the car shows have canceled. Um, it's, they could have just moved the time up. It's not supposed to start raining really anywhere around uh, Oklahoma Metro until like 1 p.m. Uh, so they could have just said, hey, we're moving up the time. The show's going to start at sunup, like 7.30 until noon, and just go ahead and go for it. But that's, people don't think out of the box that way. Like, oh, it's going to rain. We're canceling. Okay. All right. We're not car showing, but we're going we're gonna to do what we can in Little Red before the bad weather rolls in. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so we will not be out driving this car in that kind of weather. But, uh, but we're gonna try to do some clips. So this just kind of an intro, let you know. We're gonna head down to Stockyard City. We're gonna stop at an auto zone first and pick up some um, two bottles of uh, Turtle Wax Ice, which is a spray wax that's, I, it just, it just can't be beat. I've used some other products and I just thought, it's just amazing. It takes dirt, grime, bugs off the front fascia, just come right off with it. It leaves a real brilliant, amazing shine, um, and uh, and it's hard to get. So only AutoZone, Walmart quit carrying it because everyone's pushing their ceramic this, ceramic that, nanotechnology. I just sometimes just older is better. In this case, this is just really good spray wax, and it works great. I, I use it on my wheels on the Yankee Tuner Series TSVs. Uh, which are gloss black and it makes them look amazing it gets all the the grime and road road grease and and the brake uh pad dust off it just makes them shine like amazingly and um, i've been out for a minute and had to detail this evening because we thought we were going to the wheat woka sorghum festival car show which has i think been going on for about 40 years they canceled it on account they said on the count of weather but there's a backstory and we saw over 300 comments on their Facebook page citing gang activity and we woke at this tiny little speck of a town has a gang problem evidently there were threats about shooting up the 
festival. Um, but there's police bulletins are out, so it's not about the weather. Yeah, it's going to be probably crappy this afternoon, but they could have went ahead and held the event, not if there's being threats made against the, the festival goers' lives, um, but that's a matter for the OSBI, FBI, uh, local, state, and tribal law enforcement to get after. They got a gang problem. It's shutting down what could be the biggest day in that town's uh, annual revenue. Um, they need to deal with it. Uh, it's not a big enough town that gang member members can just you know mix in, just hide themselves in the crowds because there is no crowd. So they they know who they are. I'm sure every single one of them is known. They know where they are. So if they're making threats, they need to be taken in. Um, probably most of them are on parole for gun violence already and different types of violence. But anyway, they canceled it. We're not, we can't we have no power control over that. So we're gonna do what we can. We, anytime the weather's nice, we can cruise a little rev cruiser. Uh, we went without this car. It was very difficult for 11 months last year while uh, the Z was in RHC Motorsport in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, having this custom, super amazingly badass motor built by one of the top builders in the country, Jesse A. Um, I just, uh, it was worth waiting for. Was it fun not having the Z for basically the whole year? No, um, it wasn't, but it was worth it. Sometimes you have to, uh, good things come to those who wait. So now we have a brand new motor and it's not, it's not one that you could just get uh, around the corner. It, it's built by a master. Um, so, so anyway, we will shoot another clip. We get down to Stockyard City here in a minute and uh, see if we can show you a couple of things. It, it's historic. It's not like National uh, Register of Historic Places. Uh, it's a stockyard, but it's a big deal for Oklahoma, and it was a big deal back in 1910 when it was founded. Um, really, kind of legitimized in the 50s, and um, it still lives on in one of the most famous steakhouses in Oklahoma as the Cattleman's Restaurant, which we'll pull up and I'll, I'll go pro and take pics. So, more to come. <laughs> 